Welcome to the My Wool Mitten Podcast. My name is Carrie, and I'm coming to you from a small farm in the middle of the mitten on a frosty end of April morning. I'd like to officially invite you to our next spin-along. I thought while our wheels are still warmed up from spinning for our sock yarn at the first of the year, we might continue on for the month of May and knit a pair of mittens from our hand-spun yarn. So grab your wheel or your spindles and some fiber, and I hope you'll join me to make mittens in the month of May. I spoke about this in my last episode, and if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link down below so you can go back and refer to that. But basically the idea is just that we make some mittens in May, so we'll be ready for the winter. So thank you for being here. This is just going to be a few minute vlog um, saying hi to the sheep and talking about my plans, and I'll see you more at the beginning of the week. Thanks for being here. Hi ladies. Here's Style and Okapi. <laughs> Not Okapi, Malala. This is Malala. Look at her. She says you called me by the wrong name. Here's Style, who's a black gull mugget, gull mugget, if I'm saying that right. If you follow this podcast for a while, you've seen her black fleece. I was spinning that into yarn for my vascular sweater. Now Malala her fleece is the one that I'm working on that you will have seen in this video or are going to see coming up um, for my mittens, for my mittens in May. You can't see it from under her coat. She has rude partially, uh, oddly enough, around her middle, but her neck and her chest and her hindquarters don't want to let loose, so she still has her wool there. And the reason that these two girls are in this pen, they just came in for the night, is that uh, these are, let's see, they're six and seven, I believe. And Malala was having a little bit of pregnancy toxemia. And so even though she's a very um, confident you, she doesn't like to squeeze into space for feed. Well, you can see there that style just kind of pushed her around. And so I thought this way, I can treat her for the lambing disease and also the pregnancy toxemia, which is kind of a drop in blood sugar. And also, she's the wildest sheep that I have. And so this gives me a little bit smaller space to work with her if I need to. They have this whole pen. And then their buddies, the rest of the flock is right over here. So it's not like they've been separated from their flock. And then they can go outside on the side hill and graze, which is where they were when they first came to live here, and so it's familiar to them. So I just thought I'd mention that since we're going to be talking about Malala's fleece here in a little while when I get ready to do my mittens. <laughs> she started to rub this patch off, so we really need to get that off of her. But at this point, I'm thinking of waiting till she lambs. We've been having some cold nights. In fact, it was a very cold night when I came down and um, found that I, I suspected that she was having a little pregnancy toxemia. She was chilled. So, and you can see that she has dropped. Her coat was nice and snug like Styles is, but she her babies have dropped some, so her coat's hanging a little bit. So, okay. We talk about Meet the Maker. I thought maybe you'd like to meet the sheep. For providing the wool. And hopefully lambs soon. Right girls? Some of Malala's wool locks laid out for some washing. 